Back now in the GEM state, Idaho is moving to join over 30 states and the District of Columbia in banning texting and driving. This after the House of Representatives passed the Senate bill aimed at stopping that practice. Our Logan McDougall is following this story for us today. He joins us from the Pocatello Newsroom with how law enforcement react to all this. Logan. Well, Todd, the bill passed with an over 30 vote margin, and supporters say a strong message from leaders is needed to curb the deadly and growing habit. Now, under the proposed law, texters would face an $85 fine if caught using a handheld wireless device to send written communication. Currently under the bill, hands-free devices are exempt. The bill did have some changes made to it on the House floor. Originally, emergency services personnel were exempt, but an amendment made, was made to not exclude them. Also, the House clarified that the infraction would be a non-moving violation and would not affect someone's car insurance rates. Opponents like Representative Eric Simpson from Idaho Falls voted against the bill, questioning how enforceable the law would actually be. Now, before the bill becomes law, police would be given an interpretation of the law by Idaho State Police on how best to enforce the measure. Diane Brush, community services specialist with the Pocatello Police Department, says states with texting bans on the books have seen firsthand how hard the law is to actually enforce. You usually have got to look at the phone records to know um, whether they really were texting before an accident, but it's just another tool to help uh, try to keep drivers alert and try to let drivers know that anything that distracts you is going to affect your driving ability. This bill to become law would actually have to make its way back through the Senate and then would be sent to Governor Otter's desk for his signature. Todd, back to you. All right, Logan McDougall reporting. Thank you very much, Logan.